Picolabs has released a new feature, Encrypt. This is a powerful and interesting function that allows you to naturally embed the text or pattern you want into the video content. I will teach you step-by-step step how to use it and how to improve the satisfaction of the results. You can follow my steps to operate. First, we open the private chat window with the Pika robot. Then you can see that Encrypt has two options. One is to blend text into the video, and the other is to blend a pattern into the video. Let's start with text blending. Choose Encrypt our text, and you'll first see two boxes. In the message box, you just need to enter any text you want to see in the video, like dark, hello, we are Pika fans, etc. In the prompt box, describe the scene and animation you want. Now we have a Pika fans made of paint. Let's continue. There are two additional options here. The font option allows us to choose from five different font styles, with the default being modern. The image option allows us to upload a reference image. Let's try some other font styles. Here I chose retro. Their shapes are very different. With the introduction of the new Encrypt feature, we've incorporated two additional parameters. The W parameter adjusts the visibility of the encrypted image. A higher value makes the image stand out more. It ranges from 0 to 2, with the default set at 1. The size parameter, on the other hand, determines the text size. You can choose a value between 50 and 100, with the default being 100. While you can still utilize the existing settings like camera zoom out and AR 16.9, if you're unfamiliar with how to use Pika, I'd recommend checking out my previous video. I know many of you are fans of the effects shown in the official demo videos, so I tried to recreate them for you. Here, I entered fresh fruits with splash and set the weights to 1 and 2 respectively, along with uploading a reference image. The results were quite similar to the official demo. As you can easily see from the videos, the text shape with a weight of 2 is much more pronounced than with a weight of 1. Next, I modified the message and uploaded a new reference image. I then input sizes 60 and 100 to see how the results would differ. We can see that size 100 occupies more screen space than size 60. In videos of the same size, the side with the greater weight is also more visible. Using Encrypt image is very straightforward. First, upload the pattern you want to appear in the video in the message section, and similarly, input your idea in the prompt. Then, upload a reference image. Since the pattern isn't a font, the font option doesn't exist. And there we have it. An Apple logo appears on a wall covered in paint. It's worth noting that when using Encrypt, both message and prompt are mandatory fields. You must input something into the box. You can't just choose to input a message and an image, or just a prompt and a font. Otherwise, Pika will give you an error. Next, I'll share some tips on how to use Encrypt more effectively to achieve the desired results. 1. Pika seems to favor high-density or highly malleable images. Examples include water, clouds, cityscapes, paint, and trees. These elements make it easier to embed text into the video. 2. When using a single image to generate results, you might find it challenging. However, if you try to increase its quantity, you'll find it easier to get the effect you want. 3. When using Encryptos image, ensure that your pattern has a uniform and contrasting color. This helps Pika recognize its shape better, with black and white being the best choices. 4. When using Encrypt, the weight of the prompt is slightly higher than the image reference. Typically, you'll need to refine your prompt continuously to achieve better results. However, if you want the generated result to be closer to the reference image, you should keep the prompt as concise as possible and reduce the weight. Although a higher weight makes the font shape more pronounced, it can also lead to distortion.